Good day everyone, Andrew here, Real 4x4 Adventures, coming to you from the back of the car. And just over my right shoulder here, I've got a product we're going to talk about today. It's a CFX3 75DZ, which is the new updated uh, Dometic fridge. It's 75 litres, it's dual zone, so it's got a 45 litre side and a 30 litre side. Some of you may remember I had a look at a 95 litre fridge recently. Uh, that was a slightly older model, so we'll talk about some of the differences. Uh, and talk about the fridge in general. This one isn't mine, uh, I've borrowed it off a friend, but I dare say we'll probably be the fridge that we will get. So first things first, looking at it, it actually fits in the Ridge 4x4 kitchen slide that we have. So that makes a big difference, can secure it a lot more firmly, and it also helps with the height, uh, bringing it down lower. As we get closer here, you'll notice a few other things. It's an updated case, so the case Obviously it provides protection, but also a thermal element from the sun uh, and tries to keep it cooler. You'll notice there the display. The display's a little bit different. So the older model had two little screens. This one just has the one bigger screen. We'll talk through that. So when you first press any buttons, it comes up with the temperature of each side. So you've got on the left here, it shows the, you can see here, it shows the bigger side, the 45 litre side, so it's set at one degree at the moment, and the other one is set at three degrees at the moment. So when we go through here, you can set the temperatures of each side. You've got your battery protection levels. You've got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functionality, so you can connect it to the CFX3 app, which allows you to turn it on, make adjustments to temperatures, turn zones off, uh, all without having to be right here near the fridge. So you can do it from the front of the car, you can do it from your tent, you can do it when you get home, if you accidentally left it running or if you want to turn it up or down, whatever it might be. The other thing that you'll notice from the front here is the 95 litre fridge had the power inlet here. This one's at the back, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Other things here, the display functionality, you can dim, you can dim how bright the display is. You can adjust the units there, degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, and you can also turn a zone off either one so you can have either zone on or both of them on obviously giving the full 75 litres so having a look here around the back you've got your mains input and your 12 volt input so it comes with your mains plug there's also a 12 volt one I've actually got it on a slightly different cable this one didn't come with it uh, that connects into my Anderson plug but you've got these great little flaps here to make sure that dust and dirt and stuff don't get in there when you're not using it. I've also got at the back here the one of the handles. I think it weighs about, uh, I think it's just, just shy of 28 kilos. So that's with nothing in it. So it's, it's not obscenely heavy. You can carry it by yourself, but once you throw beers and things in there, it definitely does get heavier. Now the lids are reversible and it's got this great case which works either way. You've got zips on both sides, little pockets there. actually opening up so as you may remember for the 95 litre fridge I couldn't fully open it whereas I can with the 75 litre one it's just the 45 litre side light automatically turns on again this can be reversible so you can have it opening the other way and the case ah, the the other one on the older model that I looked at the case kept getting caught in the doors which is really annoying whereas you've got these great little clips here that keep it out of the way it's slick it's yeah it's amazing this is the, there we go. this is the 30 litre side, baskets are movable, if you don't have much in there you can just use the top part otherwise it's the bottom part, lights on both sides turn on, seals are really good, uh, you also have the lids there, you bring it down and you just give it a little push, clicks, you can hear the click. The other one here, there we go, clips shut. The, the handles, as I said, look, they're, they're metal. I use them as, as the, the securing point there for the fridge. Um, very strong. All in all, the, the build quality is, is great. As I said, this will probably be the fridge that we'll end up getting. Fits in my kitchen slide perfectly, 75 litres dual zone. Um, can't go wrong with that, and I'll get one of the cases as well. There, um, I've been really impressed with that. The other, you know, this is very, I guess you could call it figure hugging. Um, if that's the right thing to use for a fridge. 
but it's it's all very tight and when you open it you don't have bits flapping around and getting caught so very impressed uh, you've got the USB port here to, to charge your phone etc that's it it's a CFX3 75DZ it's the updated model and it's look, very impressive. Um, the noise from it, I think it's quieter than the older model. It's it's very quiet. Uh, again, I don't know that I would have my head right next to it while I was sleeping, but uh, with a bit of background noise, you don't hear it at all. Uh, you've got to have your head pretty close to it to, to know it's on. But yeah, all in all, pretty impressed. And uh, Dometic, I'll be coming to get one pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.